वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पैरल इनपुट सीरीज आउटपुट कनेक्शन ऑफ टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई इक्वेलेंट टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क पैरामीटर्स फॉर पैरल इनपुट सीरीज आउटपुट कनेक्शन सो फॉर दैट लेट मी टेक वन टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क फर्स्ट Let us say this is two port network A. In that, at port one, voltage is V one A, current going inside is I one A, and current coming out is I one A. At port two of two port network A, voltage is V two A, current going inside is I two A, and current coming out that is I two A. Now, my dear students, I'll be taking second two port network. Let us say this is two port network B. So in that at port one voltage is V one B current going inside that is I one B and current coming out that is I one B at port one of two port network B. At port two of two port network B voltage is V two B current going inside is I two B and current coming out is I to B, right. Now, my dear students, what I'll do is I'll be providing parallel input connection and series output connection. So, output connection is very simple. For series, you just need to connect this, right. And for parallel, let me extend these lines first. Now, my dear students, at input, I'll be providing. parallel connection so for that you see what i need to do is i need to connect this terminal over here at network b and this terminal over here at network b right so that is how we have parallel connection at input side and series connection at output side now what i'll do is i'll be considering this connection as equivalent connection and let me consider that as resultant two port network so for this resultant two port network let us consider this one as port 1 at which voltage is v1 and current going inside is i1 and current coming out is i1 at port 1 right and at port 2 we are having voltage v2 current going inside is i2 at port 2 and current coming out that is i2 at port 2 right now to derive equivalent parameters of this resultant two port network first of all we should write relation of voltage and current which is there as per this connections right so see at input side we are having parallel input connection so for parallel connection you should know voltages are there With equal value as per parallel connection. So you see this V1 that is equals to V1A and that is equals to V1B, right? And you see in parallel connection current is getting divided. So if you consider KCL at this node, then entering current is equals to leaving current. Then you see entering current is I1, leaving current is I1A and I1B. So I can say I1 is equals to I one A plus I one B. Now at output side, you see we have series connection. So for series connection, current should be same. So you see I two that is similar to I two A, and you see this I two A that is similar to I two B. So I can say I two that is equals to I two A that is equals to I two B, right? And if you apply KVL in this loop. then you can say that v2 that is equals to v2a plus v2b now we are having this equations and by using this equations we can find relation of equivalent two port network in between this two two port network so here you see we are having this two equations that we can write in form of matrix so you can observe here we are having i1 v2 matrix so let me write that first i1 v2 
that is equals to now you see i1 v2 matrix at port a is there so i need to write i1 a v2 a matrix over here plus you see over here we are having i1 v2 matrix at port b that we have so i need to write i1 b v2 b matrix right so that is what equivalent of these two equations right now my dear students you should know that i1 v2 matrix relation is there with g parameter and g parameter is inverse hybrid parameter so as per g parameter i1 v2 matrix that is g parameter into v1 i2 matrix right so i1 v2 in form of v1 i2 multiplied with g parameter matrix that is how relation is there i have already explained g parameter in my playlist of network theory you just go through that now here you see i1 v2 in form of a is there so g matrix in form of a into v1 i2 so v1 a i2 a that i need to write for this and i1 v2 for matrix b is there so plus g parameter of matrix b into v1 i2 right but for matrix b we need to write that so v1 b i2 b that is how we can convert this matrix in form of g matrix now my dear students if you observe this v1 is equals to v1 a is equals to v1 b so you see this v1 is equals to v1 a is equals to v1 b you see this i2 that is equals to i2 a is equals to i2 b so you see this i2 that is equals to i2 a is equals to i2 b what it means it means v1 i2 matrix is same for all this three right so i can cancel that from both of the sides so all i can say is equivalent matrix g that is g a plus g b so if you want to calculate that in terms of parameters then matrix g is what g11 g12 g21 g22 that is equals to now you see ga plus gb is there so for g11 it will be g11a plus g11b for g12 calculation it will be g12a plus g12b for g21 calculation it will be g21a plus g21b and for g22 calculation it will be g22a plus g22b that is how equivalent g parameter that we can calculate for parallel input series output connections right and if you have multiple two port network connected with parallel input series output in that case generalized form will be equivalent matrix g that will be g a plus g b plus g c and so on right so my dear students whenever we talk about parallel input series output connection of two port network at that time equivalent two port network parameter will be as per g parameter means it will be as per inverse hybrid parameters